Thanks for tuning in for another essential RC product test. Not an especially exciting one today, but an essential one because we are looking at the Sky RC E4Q multi charger sent to us by our friends at banggood.com. So I think this charger is probably going to be good for a beginner in the RC hobby or for somebody who uses two, three, or four cell lithium polymer batteries. And really, that's what a lot of us do use unless we're getting into bigger models. So if you're using uh, RC cars or boats or planes, particularly RC planes that are maybe up to about 1.4 meter wingspan or maybe bigger if they're powered gliders, then you typically use two, three or four cell lithium polymer batteries. So this is fantastic because it will charge up to four batteries at the same time. It has uh, and it will charge at different current rates of 2 amps or 3 amps or 5 amps on each of those four 50 watt ports. So let's not hang around, let's take this out of the box, let's see what we get. Okay, so this is the SkyRC E4Q multi-charger out of the box, quite a solid little plastic unit. Uh, you get the instructions, you also get this XT60 connector that you plug into the DC input, which needs to be supplied at 11 to 26 volts. Now for the purposes of the demo, I'm going to plug in this lithium polymer battery and it's ready to start charging. But what I typically use uh, on my chargers is this kind of industrial looking power supply unit. This is actually out of a file server, so it's not particularly pretty, but it does the job and that's the most important thing with a power supply. So rather than look on these online stores and look for something that's uh, pretty and quite expensive, you might want to look up this file server power supply option. Back to the charger though. So what we're going to do is demonstrate charging up this two cell lithium polymer battery. It's 800 milliamps, so quite small. So to start off with, you have to set the charge rate. So two amps is uh, green click to go to orange which is 3 amps and then 5 amps is red so we're going to do it at 2 amps so you plug in the XH connector black lead on the right as it shows in the graphic here for negative um, and then we're ready to charge you hold down the button for 3 seconds and it's started charging now the, the status button on the right tells you how it's doing on the charging process you have red, yellow and green. Red means it's empty, yellow halfway there and green it's fully charged. When the charging process is finished the status LED turns green and blinks five times with audible sound and the status LED stays green. So that is actually what has just happened. Uh, you heard those beeps, that means that that is now fully charged, it's topped up, it's ready to be used. Great. So if you were wanting to charge four at the same time at the maximum of five amps, then what is uh, this important notice should be read. It says to take advantage of E4Q's full power capability, the power source should be 11 to 26 volts DC and the output power should be capable of 250 watts or higher. So if you are going to be using it and using it to its full capability, then it's probably even more important that you look into getting a power supply like this. But if you're using small just charging small batteries like this, maybe one, two at the same time, then you could just use a 12 volt lead acid battery or something like that, that would be fine. But use whatever's appropriate to how and what you're charging. So that's it for this uh, review of this little charger. I think it works quite well. As I said, so if you're looking, using two, three or four cell uh, lithium polymer batteries and you wanna charge several at the same time, whether it be at home or down the flying field, or down at the track maybe when you're driving your cars, then this could be the solution for you. The link to it is in the video description for this video, uh, but otherwise that's it. You might wanna to subscribe to our YouTube channel, use the link in the bottom left, or you might wanna join our Facebook group for news reviews and the occasional free giveaway. But thanks for watching this one, see you next time.